Uh, you've been criticised, Harry, about taking a private jet home to California after competing in a charity polo match. That is, of course, despite lecturing the world on climate change. Oh, what difference does one journey make? But if everybody used that argument, Harry, nothing would change, would it? Besides, the flight came three months after your infamous interview with Oprah, where you stated that the climate crisis was one of the most pressing issues facing the world. Oh, it is. I need to be places, right? And what do you think I'm going to do? Walk? OK, but how many passengers could the jet seat? Oh, only a few. Uh, it was a 20-seater. Yeah, about 20. Yeah, but we're not comparing like for like. I mean, don't make Harry get out the apples and oranges again. We need to be able to fly around the world from city to city. From glorious destination to glorious destination. Warning people about the dangers of fossil fuels. And the immediate threat we will all face if we continue to spew millions of tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In a giant dust cloud, choking all the caterpillars. Sacrificing our children's future for short-term conveniences. And an unlimited supply of M&M peanuts. And we think we need to spread that message you know, all around the globe. All the way from California to, like, Los Angeles. And these blazing beacons of bizarre hypocrisy don't bother you because... Of the Markle Paradox, yes, I remember. But despite that, how do you justify flying a 20-passenger private jet spilling millions of gallons of CO2 into the atmosphere for a polo match? Do you want to tell him? <laughs> no, you tell him. Go on, after you. It's been discovered, you know, by our experts that um, CO2 can be absorbed by uh, smugness. So even though we pollute on private jets occasionally, you know, we are smug 24-7, easily achieving net neutrality. Right. And it's ironic, you know, because mathematically, the smuggest people on the planet are most likely to use a substantial private jet for a solo journey. <laughs> the circle of life.